Hello and welcome to another Tuesday tutorial. My name is Stephanie and I'm the creative behind my print collection. On today's tutorial, we are going to create a rainy window effect on your lettering. If you like this kind of tutorials, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. A brand new video will be posted every Tuesday. So without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. So let's open the Procreate app. Let's go over here, click on the plus sign to add a new canvas. Let's select the screen size. The images that I'm going to use, you can find them for free online. I will add a link down below. You can check that out. You can check them out. And if you want to use the same images, just click and download the images. So we are going to go, I've downloaded the, the images. We are going to go to my actions, insert a photo and go to my photos and we are going to use this rainy window so it's selected and i'm going to click fit to screen now i'm going to add a new layer and we are going to go back to my images and we are going to select a cool background so i have a photo that i've uh, found uh, from london the city that i live in so um, I'm gonna select the photo, click fit screen size, move it a little bit like this, and it seems perfect. Now I'm gonna go to the adjustments. We are gonna blur this image a little bit to make that effect that we are looking through a window. We click on Gaussian blur. I'm gonna increase about 10%. So this is looking good. I'm gonna unselect the photo and in between I'm gonna add a layer. And on this layer you can write anything that you want as long as it is black or you can use the add text feature from Procreate. So rain. I'm gonna write the word rain. You have plenty styles to choose from. I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna increase the size like this and rotate a little bit. So I'm happy with this. And then to use to work on this word, I need to click on the layer and click on rasterize. And we are on. By using the layer, the by using the lettering layer, you, again you can use anything you want, the add text or write everything that anything that you want. So on this layer, we are gonna go to my options, to my adjustments, and we are gonna use the liquidify tool. So here you have plenty um, of options to select from, to choose from. So I'm gonna use the push option. And what I'm gonna do is you can play with the pressure in the moment. I'm gonna create some drops like this. Create that sleeper effect. Let's go back to the layers. I'm gonna eliminate this. And now we are gonna select the, the rain layer. And we are gonna change uh, the mode of the layer to uh, overlay. So where is it? Over here. So here we go. And then we are gonna select the image that we've important, change the um, layer option to overlay as well and there you go you can move around your lettering if you want 
So if you feel that this lettering is a little bit light, you want it to uh, pop the colors a little bit more, what you can do is duplicate this layer, click on the layer and add a mask, and then we are gonna invert. Now on this layer, remember that black erases and white shows what show, shows what we want to show. So if we select the color white and we select a brush, we can now paint over. So if we want to reveal a little bit more of our lettering, like this and if you don't like it you can delete the layers or turn them off or if you want this effect you just turn them on and there you go in a couple of simple steps we've created this rainy window effect on your lettering if you like this tutorial or if you want to see other ones like this make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel See you soon and happy drills!